Chinese writer Mo Yan has arrived in Stockholm, Sweden, and as he prepares to receive his Nobel Prize in Literature next Monday, another Chinese Nobel laureate is on many people's minds. What did Mo Yan say about democracy activist Liu Xiaobo, who's currently in prison on subversion charges? The fate of these two Chinese Nobel laureates is as different as night and day. One is languishing in prison on what supporters say are trumped-up subversion charges. The other is accompanied by Chinese officials on a trip to Sweden to receive his prize. As Mo Yan prepares to get his Nobel Prize next Monday, December 10th, a group of Chinese activists and former Nobel laureates are lobbying for Liu Xiaobo's release. On Thursday in Stockholm, Mo did not echo these calls. The contrasting treatment of the two men has become a tricky issue for Chinese leaders. The communist regime is between a rock and a hard place. Of course it's natural that a Nobel Prize winner in literature would call for the release of a Nobel Peace Laureate. Otherwise it shows that they are diverging values for the two prizes. Mo Yan, a pen name that means don't speak, is the first Chinese national to have been awarded the Nobel Prize in literature. But it came with controversy. Moore has been criticized by fellow Chinese writers for being a quasi-communist official and lacking intellectual independence. For the Chinese community, whether it's Liu Xiaobo's prize or Mo Yan's, it's our pride. And the Chinese people should be proud. But for me, many of Mo Yan's works, like the social courage and ethics that an intellectual should have, I always thought he was a bit of a cynic. Democracy activist Liu Xiaobo was awarded the Nobel Prize in 2010. He was already in prison at the time for an 11-year sentence for so-called subversion.